Okay. <laughs> hey guys, this is Kira with Kira Photography, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference between photojournalism and editorial photography. The big buzzword lately has been photojournalism, and a lot of couples are asking about this because of one of the big reasons of having a natural um, interaction in your photographs. So this is a beautiful, beautiful way to kind of portray yourselves obviously in love and very natural, but there is a big difference that I wanna be able to point out for you guys today. I was actually, uh, just to take a step back, I was trained as a photojournalist years ago, um, and basically one of my higher ups, the way he explained photojournalism to me was, you are basically a fly on the wall. So what this means is that you are interacting with the subject from afar and really having no um, interaction you know, personally um, up close. So what this means is you're able to tell the story um, without even talking to the subject, without even interfering with the subject, telling them to move in a, sp a specific way. So this is what pure photojournalism is. Now, let's take a step back and really start to think about you know, the natural interaction between a couple. Um, so a lot of times photographers um, who are really good at, at what they do will showcase a lot of uh, photographs of couples you know, laughing, having a great time, holding hands, walking down the beach. And a lot of this really looks like, um, in my opinion, a very well portrayed representation of their love. And the way this is accomplished is by directing. And this is what I would like to call editorial photography. So editorial photography um, really allows the photographer to act as the director. This allows me to use prompts um, to get you guys to interact naturally, to allow you to unfold in front of the camera um, and not just kind of do a lot of posed moves. So editorial photography, again, um, as opposed to photojournalism, is you're going to have more interaction with the couple. You're actually gonna be directing the couple, whereas photojournalism, you're actually going to be more of a fly in the wall and not interacting with the couple at all. So I wanna thank you guys for joining me today as we talked about the differences between photojournalism and editorial photography. This was my first video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for more topics on photography moving forward. Talk to you guys later, bye. Vlog. It's a video blog. Uh, no, nobody said no. <laughs> I think that was good. <laughs>